Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, I am Love Nina. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, this is going to be hopefully a quick, I always I always say that I want it to be a quick video and then it ends up being a 25 minute video. But anyway, I just wanted to quickly address my Marcus Rogers video. If you have not seen that video, I will put it in the cards. You can click it. It'll also be down in the description box below. So, um, Marcus Rogers, if you don't know, He's a YouTuber who spreads the gospel in his own way. I've been watching his videos for a while. This one particular day, he literally, I was like in a, I was in a, in a bad space, like depressed, not feeling well. I was kind of like, for the past couple of months, I was kind of like skipping his videos. Like whenever I would see his videos, I would skip them. And this particular day, I watched this video and it just literally spoke to me. It made me get up and I literally like ran outside and made a video to, I made the video to pretty much thank him. Thank him for his obedience because his obedience and making that video and allowing God to speak through him, he got me to get, he, he got the message to me. I'm pretty sure the video helped plenty of other people, but that video that day helped me and it started me on my journey to stand firm in what I believe in and who I believe in and what I want to do and the transition from my channel. Um, I have a lot of videos on this channel and you can you can clearly see that there was a change like you can clearly see that I was in the world and I kept those videos on this channel on purpose so that you can see that God can change you if he changed me he can change you so now in the video I'm thinking Marcus and I'm like just let him know like you know thank you for your obedience and you know uplifting him because he uplifted me unknowingly because he didn't know that his video would reach me he did not know me I'm like you know I want to be like you and I want to you know do all these things and I probably was unclear well majority of the comments you know they got it they were in agreement they thanked me for being obedient and you know speaking about what I was speaking about in the video because it just wasn't about Marcus yes I addressed the video to Marcus because I wanted to thank him and I wanted to let him know that he was appreciated in doing what he does for the Lord and how he stands firm for the Lord and how you know just like his obedience his love his fire for the Lord and for the general people and wanting to save souls and get people to get right. It just wasn't about Marcus. I also was in that video and I also was spreading the gospel and trying to get people to get right and open their eyes. And majority of the people realized that. I got way more likes than I got dislikes and I had I got way more positive comments than I got, you know, negative comments. I watched the video and to me, I was very clear, but you know, when you are watching something, you know what you meant. So it's going to come off to you differently than it might come off to other people. But anyway, it was basically saying like, you know, you don't follow man, you admire man, but you only follow Christ or something like that. And it was another, it's like, oh, you're idolizing this man and you know, the truth hurts and you're, you know, you're idolizing him or whatever. And I'm just like, what? To keep it real, to be honest, I don't watch every single Marcus Rogers video. I don't. But I needed to I needed to make it clear to him that I was a subscriber for like a year or two and then, you know, I would watch him here and there whatever. But that one video got me. And I thought it was very important to let him know that he's doing a wonderful job and you know following directions and being obedient and allowing God to order his steps. You know, just doing the right thing. Somewhere in the video it seemed as if I was idolizing this man. I don't idolize no man. I don't idolize celebrities. I don't idolize money. I don't idolize anything. Like anything. I don't idolize anything. I have no idols at all. And I'm not just saying that like, you know, just for the video. I don't have any idols. I just don't. Especially not man. Not man who bleeds like me, you know, who hurts like me, who's just like me. No, I don't. We don't idolize. You're human just like me. For the people who did not understand or you don't understand or you don't get it, when I said, and I wrote this in a comment, no, I'm not idolizing Marcus Rogers. I 
admire Marcus Rogers. I love how he stands firm for Christ. I love how he's unapologetic with his delivery. I love how he doesn't care what people say about him. He stands firm about him, you know, having a past and you guys trying to throw it at him. And it's like, that's no longer who he is. It doesn't matter what he did before. None of us are perfect. None of us will ever be perfect. That is why Jesus died on the cross for us. So people who like to throw up things that you've done or who you used to be. And it's like you're wasting your time and it just shows a reflection of who you are. Because if you are a Christian, then you know that once we accept Christ and we're baptized and we're spreading to God, we are no longer that. We're not the same person. Even people in the world, two, three years later, they're not the same person that they used to be two years ago. And it has nothing to do with Christ. So imagine someone who was born again and now spreading the word and you guys are throwing up his past at him. Come on now. Come on. Are you the same person that you were 10 years ago? And if you are, that's a problem. And if you are a born again Christian and you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, are you the same person that you were before you got saved? I would hope not. I would hope not. I would hope that the Lord delivered you from something. You know what I mean? I only want to be like Christ. I only want to follow Christ. When I said those words, speaking about Marcus Rogers, like, oh, I want to be like you. You encouraged me, brother, and stuff like that. I was speaking about sharing the gospel. I was speaking about standing firm in my belief. I was speaking about using my YouTube as a platform to reach and win souls. That's what I was speaking about. I wasn't speaking about being like Marcus because he's the savior and being like Marcus because, you know, oh, all hell, Marcus Rogers. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, you know, no, no. I was speaking about being bold for Christ because, you know, a lot of people, especially baby Christians, sometimes they're timid. Sometimes they're like, oh my goodness, what are they gonna think about me? I'm this religious freak. I'm this Jesus freak now. And, you know, people are gonna judge me because I used to be this type of way. And, you know, I used to be in a club and, you know, I was fornicated and I was doing this and I was doing that. And now I'm over here spreading the gospel. Like, oh, what are people gonna think? And I struggled with that for a while. Even just posting Christian stuff on my Facebook. When I used to have a Facebook, I used to always look, oh my goodness. And then I went through a situation where I got delivered and I changed my whole YouTube and then I backslid. And then same thing like on Facebook, Snapchat. Like it was like I was so I was so on fire for the Lord. I was just like, ah, and then I backslid. And then it was like I was back in the world and it was just, you know, whatever. Like I'm back in the world and this is what I'm doing. And then when I rededicated myself to the Lord, I was kind of afraid. Because I'm like, people going to be like, yo, this girl is really, you know, she's a hypocrite. Or she's fake. Or she's something. And I wasn't 100% comfortable spreading the word. It was kind of like, you know, denying Christ in a sense. Not on purpose. Not like, oh, I, I'm, I don't know him. Jesus who? Not that. I wasn't pulling a Peter. But in a sense, I was. Because it's like, why are you caring about what people think? You know? Like, yeah, people need to see that you're, you're going through something in a spiritual battle. But at the end of the day, you come out on top. You come out having the victory. Yeah, you backslid. Yeah, you fell. But guess what? God picked you back up. And look where you are now. Yeah, you had a little hiccup, but you're back right where you belong. You're doing what you gotta do now. You know what I mean? So, and we all know that no one on this earth is perfect. It's, it's humanly impossible. It's impossible to be perfect. Like even in this video, I done messed up about a hundred times already. You guys wouldn't know because it's edited out, but I messed up because I'm not perfect. But that's what I was speaking about. I wasn't speaking about anything else. That man is not my idol. I have no idols. I just appreciate him. I'm going to appreciate his devotion to the Lord. I'm going to appreciate his devotion to win souls and to help us. Look at me now. Look at the video since that video that I made. Look at it. Just, just going after this video is over. You don't have to watch. I just want you guys to see for yourself. If you watch that video, watch the videos after that video. I started to become like Marcus Rogers in the sense of spreading the gospel. Not in the sense of, you know, 
what he eats, what he likes to wear, what he watches on TV, and where he goes, and no, no. And it wasn't even a um attraction, like, oh, I, I like him, and no. I'm speaking about the fact that this man wants to win souls, point blank, period. He's being obedient to the word of God, period. Hopefully I didn't make this video too long, but I just wanted to address that. No, I have no idols. No, I don't wanna follow men or anything like that. I wanna follow Christ. Christ is my Lord and Savior. Christ is the one who delivered me. He died for me and I wanna be like him. So, yes. <laughs> Sorry I had to make this video for the people who already understood, but sometimes people don't understand and that's okay because they're not perfect. Sometimes it's okay to explain yourself so that there is clarity because you don't want people walking around with the wrong idea. You don't want people walking around not knowing what they're talking about or thinking the wrong things, especially in situations like this. I'm not speaking about if you're talking about if I was you know, in the world yesterday and today. I'm not speaking about that. I'm speaking about when it comes to Christians as a whole, we need to understand each other so that there are no mistakes. If I'm trying to spread the gospel because the Lord told me to speak about a certain topic and you see my name or something, you're like, oh, I'm not, I'm not watching that video because she follows man. She wants to be like man. She doesn't, she's, she has idols. She idolizes YouTubers and no. I had to clear it up. I had to clear it up. I had to clear it up. So, yes. That is all. I'm going to end it there. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, you can subscribe now. And if you do subscribe or you are subscribed, you can hit the bell so that you're notified each and every time I upload so that you don't miss a video. And yeah, please go and look at the videos. If you're new and you want to see some more videos, please watch it. Please excuse my background noise. So, yeah. Even if you want to watch some videos when I was still in the world, I would just advise you to guard your heart. Understand that it's just for you to see where God brought me from. I don't want you getting, um, you know, thinking anything that was done before I dedicated my life back to the Lord is okay because it's not. When the Lord tells me to take them down, I'll take them down. But for right now, I need people to see where it came from. So yes. So I thank you so much for watching. I love you. God bless you. And I'll see you in my next video. Later. P.S. I don't know if we do P.S. in videos, but hopefully um, my attitude didn't come off too crazy in this video. I just was really annoyed by those comments because I feel like I was very clear in the video of who I was representing and who I wanted to represent. And I felt like if you watched the full video through, then you would have known that it wasn't so much about Marcus Rogers. It was truly about uh, the body of Christ and spreading the gospel and winning souls and trying to get people right. But Marcus Rogers, was, he did get the message from me because, you know, he had got me up out of my bed to preach to someone that day or teach. I don't like to say preach because I'm not a preacher, but to, you know, teach the gospel, spread the gospel that day. So, yeah, hopefully my attitude wasn't off. But, um, you know, yeah, God is still working with me in that area, too. So, See, work in progress, work in progress. But yes, I thank you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. God bless you, later.